joining us now is Confidence Usani, whose story is trending around the world. Hello, Confidence. Hello, Big Brother. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, Confidence. Thank you. Well, that's all right. Let's begin with trending. So, Emmanuel, as you know, school just ended. So, what's your plan over this summer? Yes, that's true. School is finally over. But I do have so many plans for the holidays, like hospital appointments, camps, even church camps, and school workouts to fill up the holidays before the next year of school starts. Well, that's all right. Let's begin with trending. Let's begin today with Nigeria's soldiers fighting Boko Haram lament non-payment of allowance accuses army hierarchy of corruption. They wondered why they were not paid like the counterparts, alleges that fraud was being committed by the Nigeria Army High Command. Some soldiers inducted into the war against Boko Haram terrorists in Nigeria's Northeast have lamented about the non payments of their deduction allowances. Emmanuel, before I take some tweets, Nigeria's soldiers are complaining about the non payment of their allowances. What is your take on this? These are soldiers that left their families in order to fight for the country. So if they are complaining about the non-payment of their allowances, then it is not a good sign for the country because they need these allowances in order to be motivated to continue to do the good work that they are doing. So I feel that the government should look into this issue of the non-payment that the soldiers are complaining about. According to the newspaper reports, it looks like the government has paid the soldiers hierarchy. But the hierarchy has refused to pay the soldiers on the field. Yes, that's true. That's what the paper reported. But at this point, we have to wait for a comment from the army. Now, let's take some tweets. This person said, If you cannot pay at least an equivalent of what a local government area chairman receives as salary and on time to those sacrificing their lives fighting the terrorists, then you are worse than the terrorists. This other person said, Give them their allowance. It's not easy to be at the W plus R front for two years. They deserve everything they are demanding for. FG should wade into the matter and proffer an immediate response. This other person said, that no one be today we know. Everyone now is looking for opportunities. This other person said, this is our soldier. The regional government will handle it because the North will fight for their safety and eliminate the threat or it will consume them. This other person said, the government is not the problem. The top official military are the problem. They have bring bribes to our, by our politicians. Wait for an example. Do you think the army is in field supposed to cry out first? What is the chief army staff doing for the armies in the war front? This other person said, they are informed that unlike them, their colleagues in the Navy, Air Force, and Nigerian Customs have confirmed to have received one million naira each as a de-instruction payoff. That's why they seek recollection to the Southeast so they can extort us at the military checkpoints. This other person said, kudos to our guardians officers. May the actions and inactions of the politicians' shoulders never dampen your patriotism. This Emmanuel, as you rightly said, it would be better if the soldiers can put out a statement defending themselves about the complaints of these young soldiers. Because these soldiers are putting their lives on the line and as such, their complaints should be taken seriously. Yes, their complaints should be taken seriously because these people are fighting for the country. Oh, well, that's okay. We take another story. Biafra Heroes Day. Tension in Aba as gunmen engaging soldiers in gun battle. Two feared killed. Patrol van burnt. This is how the paper reported it. A resident told Sahara reporters that two soldiers were killed by the enforcers of the sit-at-home order but the military and the police have not confirmed this. There is a palpable tension in Aba Abia state as some gunmen enforcing the sit at home order of the indigenous people of Biafra reported a rage soldiers at Obikiba Junction in shootout. A resident told Sahara reporters that two soldiers were killed by the enforcers of the sit at home order, but the military and the police have not confirmed this. Confidence. There was a shootout between the soldiers and the IPOB that went viral. Two soldiers, according to the news, were killed, but the police said they have not confirmed this. Well, the army put out a statement, and the statement reads in parts. Attack on troops of Operation Udoka, a checkpoint in Abia State, 
on 30th May 2024. Troops of Operation Odoka deployed at Obikabia Junction checkpoint in Obingwa local government area adjoining Aba Metropolis in Abia State were attacked and sadly killed by the terrorists of IPOB. The troops deployed to enforce peace in the area and protest the citizens were mass attacked by the terrorists. The terrorists in three tinted Prado Toyota SUVs and others from built up areas surrounding the checkpoint sprang a surprise attack on the checkpoint. Two, the attack sadly took the lives of five personnel of the armed forces killed in action. The armed forces mourned the death of these troops as each and every soldier lost in battle is a terrible loss. Meanwhile, investigations are ongoing concerning the attack. 3. Overall, it must be reinstated that the lifeline of the terrorists is the people and this situation no exemption. Winning the war without the support of the people is close to impossible. The IPOB capitalized on this to perpetrate attacks on the troops. The situation leaves more to be desired. For, accordingly, it is absolutely imperative that the military retaliate against this disturbing act against troops. The military will be fierce in their response. We will bring overwhelming militant pressure on the group to ensure their total defeat. Signed, Edward Boba, Major General, Director of Defense Media Operation. As you can see, this was the press release from the Army. And like the Major said, there would be a retaliation. If the military said there would be any retaliation, then I'm afraid. Because if you can recall what happened in Delta State when 15 soldiers were killed, soldiers took over the community where no one was able to go in or come out. And it was reported that some innocent people were killed and houses burned. So we don't want the same situation to repeat itself. Obviously. What we do is for authority investigation to be carried out so that the people that killed these five soldiers will be arrested. Now, let's take some tweets. This person says, Nigerian soldiers too stubborn. Maybe they used to take advice from mad men. Gowan is still alive. He would have explained to mug Nigerian stupid soldiers that B Biafra's territory is a no-go area. Just wait until 2nd December 2024. Even Tinubu will be on the run. This next person says, having the Biafra government actually withdraw out of Biafra land. And this other person says, it's not easy for a tribe to fight a whole country, so please let them be honored. And this other person says, I love BLA, BRF, and BDF. Zoo can't win this war for the second time. We have more advanced weapons and men who have no human feelings at the front, at the forefront of this battle. More body bags will still fall between now and tomorrow. In fact, way too second December. This next person says, Nigeria's securities are risking their lives. They shall allow a bow to celebrate in peace. And this other person says, tomorrow, they'll start killing innocent people. They will now face their mates. And this next person says, when we shoot, we hit their own. The sun must rise and shine above all. Objective must get down. All zoo terrorists. The person says, tell them to respect the people's traditions. Every 30th May, you can't kill my father, mother, and still ask me not to remember them. 
And this other person says, ride on BDF, BRF, BLA, Biafra land, no be Nigerian, Nigeria. Every Nigerian soldier on Biafra land should sit at home. We are very angry. Nick and Britain killed 6 million innocent Biafrans. Even to date, it's not by force to be a Nigerian. We are Biafras forever. This final person says, our men killed six Zoo Nigerian soldiers. What is two fear deaths? Two others escaped. Next time, they won't survive it. They can't stand our men always running away from a fight, but always show their strengths on the armless civilians in the Zoo Nigeria, killing unharmed youths. Emmanuel, according to the tweet, the IPOB said they killed six soldiers, but according to the Nigeria army, only five soldiers were killed. Yes. The army has released a statement saying five soldiers were killed, so we are going to believe their statement. Moreover, the duty of the army is to protect the citizens, but right now what we are seeing is the citizens killing the army. This is not good for the country, and that is why we are calling on every citizen of the country to be law-abiding. When I saw the news on the internet, I was not happy that the citizens are killing the army instead of praising the army. So right now, there should be a thorough investigation so these people can be arrested. Well, viewers, this is the end of our segment. I hope you enjoyed this news. We'll see you next week. At this point, we'll be drawing curtains. And to you, my viewers, I want to say a big thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Click on the notification bell so that when I post a new video, you'll be first to be notified. Thank you, and may God bless you all.